Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. We get questions all the time from our customers. They want to adapt their seven pole down for use with like a four pole or a five pole. What we're going to take a look at today is one of my favorites. I really, really like this adapter. You can see it plugs into your normal working seven pole in the back of your vehicle. And it's going to convert it into an adapter that we can use for four and five pole trailers. But it also has a 12 volt power outlet here. Now we have adapters that have 12 volt outlets you can plug in. We have adapters that have four pole and we have adapters that have five pole, even some four and five pole adapters. But this one is pretty unique in the sense it also gives us that 12 volt outlet. It's gonna make it very handy to have around whether we're just gonna be hauling a trailer. We can use this side here for four or five poles. Or if we're tailgating, we need to charge up a phone maybe out on the job site. We're camping and we want some 12 volt power. Whatever the case may be, we've got it right here. Now also, something that really sets this one apart from any of the other ones we have are these great covers. These are going to click on. You can see they've got a gasket inside that helps to seal that. It's going to prevent any moisture from getting in there and causing us issues with corrosion. Oftentimes, they'll either have a slide-on cover or really no cover at all. I think if we were using this adapter in a four pole situation, we'd certainly have our 12 volt outlet covered up. It's going to keep it sealed. Nothing's going to get in there. It's not going to cause any kind of shorts or any kind of issues. I really like that in the design. See overall, it's just about perfect. All the seams and everything, they've really taken a lot of time to make sure they give us a nice, good product. I also like that 12 volt outlet, not only for charging items, we can put an AC adapter in there if we want. and charge up laptops or charge up tablets that have to be plugged into the wall. Can operate coolers in the back if you're tailgating. But also having a 12 volt connection point here in the back. If we are towing our trailer and we get in a situation we've got a low tire, we need some kind of tool there at the back, maybe a 12 volt impact ratchet or a 12 volt air compressor, our connection point's going to be right here. Now generally the emergency compressors or emergency impacts are going to have a shorter cord on them, maybe 10 or 15 feet. By putting our outlet here, it's going to allow us to service our trailer as well, which I think is really important when an emergency does happen. Now just like a normal seven pole plug, you'll see the tab that sticks up right here. It's going to allow us to plug in and then the tab that's on our door is going to come down behind that. That's going to ensure that we don't have any accidental separations of our plug here. We'll open up our door. You can see we've got our four pins exposed. You can see the fifth one there, it's got a little cover on it. So if you're using a five pole trailer, we're gonna pull that out. That's gonna give us access to all five of our pins, which basically those are gonna be ground, running light, left turn and brake, right turn and brake, and the fifth one's for a reverse wire. Uh, that would be used in an electronic lockout actuator like a marine surge brakes or it can also be used to power lights on your trailer. If you want some backup lights, when you hit reverse, they'll come on. So it gives you a couple options there on what to do. But I like that it's capped off. None of the other four and five pole adapters have that cap, which is gonna prevent or protect that circuit anyway. So when we hit reverse, we don't have live 12 volt power just hanging out in case it happens to be wet or something like that. We you see that's just gonna plug right in gets us connected and we know at that point our trailer is going to work. Now all of our customers have very similar opinions to this is what I do, that it's really well built, that it lasts for an extremely long time, they don't have any problems or any issues with it, and the covers really help to protect the plugs inside of there. We have questions often about will it fit my truck, how does it work, those kind of things. And basically, as long as you have all your seven functions working in your seven pole, it's going to work fine. From time to time, though, you will have a seven pole that doesn't have an active 12 volt power lead. Most of the time, if you've got a seven pole on, there's a fix for that underneath your hood. Generally, either you need to connect a wire like on a GM or you need to add a fuse like on a Ford. So check your owner's manual. You can figure out how to make that hot and active. And some of those will only charge up or only have power going when the key's in the on position. If that's the case, we can again bypass that. You just go to the, the contact that's at the number one spot there. 
once you've found that contact, you can add your own wire. Generally, 12 gauge is going to be the minimum wire you want to use. But you'll run that up through a 40 amp breaker, and you can connect that to the positive side of your battery. That'll give you constant power coming back to your plug if you don't want to just have this when the key's on. And again, that's not in all vehicles, but some vehicles are like that. Another question I see come up with this type of adapter on occasion is, um, can I power a winch on my trailer? And really, the seven pole in the back of your vehicle is not designed for that. We generally power maybe a power jack off of these or something like that. So we want to stay under that power consumption line. A winch is just going to draw too much power through it. Here's one of the examples we were talking about more in like emergency style situations. The compressor here has about a 10 foot lead on it. We're going to have about 10 foot of hose. So you can imagine if we had to plug that in all the way up there in the front of the vehicle, we just wouldn't be able to reach back here like what we can very easily now. Now anytime we're using an adapter like this, or just a regular trailer plug for that matter, we always recommend the use of dielectric grease. That's going to get on those contacts that prevents moisture from getting in there, and if we can prevent moisture from getting in there, generally we can prevent any type of corrosion. That being said though, this is one of the better ones about corrosion issues. Not really a problem, but it's always good to protect it. Now in my opinion, this is going to be an excellent adapter to pick. It's going to have the four and five pole functions if you're looking for that, plus you're going to pick up that 12 volt outlet. I would definitely own this and keep it in my vehicle at all times in case I needed it. I'd really like having that 12 volt outlet if we were doing something outside the vehicle or maybe at a picnic or camping or something like that. Just to be able to recharge a speaker or keep your phone charged up so you can keep music and things like that going.